Namaste everyone, I am Ramya, a science teacher from Sri Gurukul Group of Institution. Again, I am here to help you, especially to score good marks in chemistry and biology part. Okay, so many of you are still in the confusion that what to study, which are the important areas we need to study, isn't it? So, the, for the same reason I am here, so here I am going to tell you the important areas where you need to concentrate to get a good marks in our chemistry and biology part. Okay, so and also I just want to share you some of the predictable and most expectable questions and these questions are very frequently asked in the previous year question papers and this year, uh, previous year also we have uh, done the predictable questions video. So we have analyzed that we have uh, predicted uh, 35 marks uh, in the board examination in the last year. Okay, this time I have summarized the three papers like two district papers and one uh, board preparatory paper, state board preparatory paper and I summarized these three papers and I have shortlisted some of the predictable questions. So now I am going to share with you dear students are so, uh, 4 marks, 5 marks and 3 marks questions so now shortlist my degree and uh, many times same areas and the questions will arise and so we can predict these questions in the board examination. So even the questions will be chance to get the questions will be this paper has divided into three parts. So part A physics, it has a weightage of 28 marks and the part B chemistry, it has a weightage of 25 marks and the part C biology is for 27 marks. Okay, then when come to the list of diagrams in chemistry, there are six diagrams are there. So out of this, uh, one is for two marks and one is for three marks is compulsory. So here the electrolysis of water, acid conduct electricity and uh, salt water conduct electricity. These three diagrams may ask for the two marks and the remaining uh, action of steam and um, reaction of metals with uh, acid. These two may ask for the three marks or four marks questions. Okay, when we come to the diagrams in the biology part, there are many diagrams in that neuron and uh, structure of flower. These two diagrams may have chances to ask in the two mark zone and uh, the structure of heart and brain and nephron and even digestive system and excretory system may have chances to ask in the three marks or four marks uh, zone okay when come to the five marks question so here i have listed the five marks areas so usually five marks questions will come from the two important lesson that is one is metals and non-metals another one is carbon and its compounds so in metals and non-metals which are the areas we can expect uh, five marks means roasting and calcination and extraction of metal that too mercury extraction is uh, frequently asked okay and and um, refining, electrolytic refining of copper and uh, alloys, advantages of alloys, alloys, composition of alloys like steel, brass, bronze, they may ask. Okay, and when in, when come to the... <coughs> When come to the carbon and its compounds uh, lesson, so we can expect the 4 marks or 5 marks uh, questions like naming of hydrocarbons, writing the molecular formula, structural formula and uh, if if idan kelilla antandre next to chemical properties of hydrocarbons they may ask for example addition substitution oxidation and esterification so we can expect the five marks question uh, in these zones okay and when come to the four marks uh, main so we can expect the four marks question from the first lesson uh, that too like uh, write the difference between oxidation and reduction and uh, they have given one um, equation and they may ask uh, which is the substance getting oxidized uh, getting reduced oxidizing agent and reducing agent like that okay in then when come to the second lesson acid based salts we can expect the four marks questions in uh, uses of salts only that to baking soda preparation and bleaching powder preparation and uh, reaction of acids and base with the carbonates and bicarbonates okay so next uh, from uh, Metals or non-metals lesson, we can expect the four marks questions like difference between questions like ionic compounds and covalent compounds and advantages of alloys. 
then extraction of medium reactive metals so next in carbon and its compounds properties of carbons like tetravalency catenation and homologous series okay and then uh, when come to the periodic classification of uh, elements lesson so we can expect the four marks questions like uh, mendeleev's drawbacks and uh, atomic size variation yes atomic size variation in the periodic table is a very compulsory question because in all the question papers this is a common questions we can find okay so when come to the two marks questions so here i have listed some of the most important and very frequently repeated questions Uh, so please note down and uh, practice uh, the questions when come to the biology part here uh, we have listed five marks questions like uh, we can expect the five marks questions like this either picture based or diagram based question either uh, they may ask the uh, they may ask to draw the diagram or else they may uh, give the pictures so related to the picture they will give, they will ask uh, some uh, you know sub questions like a b c so usually uh, we come across uh, the most common question is reflex arc and male reproductive system so these are two are the picture or diagram based questions so next is structure of brain and functions of each part of the brain so these two are uh, very important five marks uh, areas so you must practice these two questions and then uh, when come to the four marks question uh, we have a list of questions like uh, transportation in plants how plants get rid of their waste next what is double circulation how is this helpful in higher organisms and structure of heart mono hybrid and di hybrid cross uh, explain the factors which influence the speciations like um, we know that that is a uh, genetic drift natural selection uh, reproductive isolation geographical uh, barriers isn't it okay next contraceptive methods how surgical methods are better than barrier methods and uh, structure of nephron explain the sexual method of reproduction in plants and what are the changes takes place in flower after fertilization uh so this are the four marks question and then when come to the three marks zone we can expect the questions like this three pathways of breakdown of glucose how villus and alveolus are modified into intestine and lungs for the absorption and tropic movements plant hormones adrenal gland it is also called emergency hormone and insulin the role of insulin in our body then advantages and disadvantages of dams construction this is a most important question and most repeated also and then five hours Uh, next how ground water storage is better than other methods in conservation of water trophic levels food chain uh, why do we reduce use of fossil fuel uh, diagram of human excretory system how fossils helps in tracing the evolutionary relationship diagram of fertilization in plants so these are the list of three marks uh, questions so please note down and do the practice and uh, next when come to the two two marks question so here are some of the list of questions uh, we listed uh, like uh, most frequently asked questions and most important questions so please note down the questions and do the practice now you got an idea that which are the important areas uh, i should concentrate and i should learn to get a good marks isn't it so uh, all the best dear children do well okay and uh, namaste shri gurukul global institution